Recently, disabilities got added to the classifications for medical research, and given studies like the one I'm about to show you, it's about damn time. This study, and let me assure you, the reporting is not the problem this time, says that toddlers diagnosed with autism may not be diagnosed as autistic once they reach elementary school age. First of all, the authors never considered that children might be learning to mask, that is to disguise how they really are in order to fit in better. The authors also completely treat autism as simply how inconvenient it is to holistic people. The study does not examine how autistic children think or learn or perceive information and instead focuses entirely on how much they meet these disability criteria. The authors even invent something called non-persistent autism because otherwise their whole framework falls apart. They came so close when they said that those with higher baseline scores and women tended to have this non-persistent autism, which is simply the diagnostic criteria is not universal and is kind of full of crap. Again, the study's not total trash. It just doesn't show anything about what it thinks that it's showing. What it actually is showing, as a uh, user on Mastodon pointed out, is not anything about autism going away. It's that autistic people are more likely to be misdiagnosed as holistic once they're not toddlers. The information is right there. Yet these authors, because they are coming at it from an holistic point of view, don't see what they have actually uncovered. They've uncovered that the existing mechanisms for diagnosing autism are imprecise at best and deeply flawed at worst, which is exactly what the autism advocacy community has been saying for a long time. This also, indirectly, gives a lot of support to the idea of self-diagnosis, because if the official diagnosis is so flawed that it can't pick up autism in children once they're a little bit older, then how can it possibly be accurate enough for adults?